Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with L. Sullivan. It's already fairly late in the day. I didn't do a shoot around our camera. I did level up our electrical to level two, which is amazing. We just need to literally deconstruct one watch and we were done. I had a look at the metal detector, and it's an amazing thing that I really want to get into. However, we need to find some medium batteries first. And to find them, we either need to find blenders or rice cookers that have power, and we can then deconstruct them for the batteries. That or we just find them as is. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can find them. First things first, we're going to have a look at this Master Z, see what we can gather from that. What is the condition on this katana? It's still fairly high, okay. I do not want that to run out anytime soon because we are lacking in terms of weaponry. Uh, we've got we've got a handful of things, but like hunter's knife and nightstick and things, but it's not much. Now, the Master Z was just up here near the Zippy Mart. We still need to go into the Zippy Mart. Potential good source of stuff. Yeah, there's a couple up there. I need to test this out because it looked like it changed the properties of the previous zombie. Yeah, they must all be up there. There's a, f There definitely wasn't a feral last time. Can't see the master, though. There's the feral. Here it comes. Ready. Ready. Another saw? There's lots of saws on these zombies. There's a skeleton feral? Okay. Uh, let's take out these two. I don't know where the master one went. Ready. Crap. Oh, that was close. Skeleton Feral. Got that one. Hit that to dismantle. Okay, zombie, zombie. Lots up there. Got caravan and stuff up there as well. Okay, normal zombie here. What I think we should probably do is we'll loot the zippy mark. We'll see if we can loot that little, I think it's a preschool. There might be some books in there that we can grab. It looks like there's a magazine in here. Adult magazine. Okay. <laughs> Snow globes. Ooh, and there's lots of stuff in that one. Nice. Right, we've got some sweeties. And we've already got a slurp burp, I believe. So I don't think we need another one. Anything else here? No. Take out the fat Z. We'll move up to the preschool. See if we can get any books and stuff from that. Okay, uh, another maggot in case we get hungry. I think we're fine. Okay, on the lookout for books. I mean, glue is useful, so soap. Or you, normal zombie. I ignore you for a second. Bread pan. And make our own bread, I guess. Ooh, okay, that was fairly good timing. Right, any books or anything at all in these desks? Nothing. Right, I've got to grab a Z. We still didn't find that Master Z. God knows where that went. I'm a little bit worried because there's a lot of open space here. And there's another small hoard up there. Okay, we'll take these ones on. Another house fly? Okay, we've got a handful here. Two children, a wrestler, normal zombie. Okay, we should be fairly safe taking these out. Ooh, survival axe. Nice, decent weapon. Just pop into one of these flats. A little look-see. Ooh, convenient. Thank you. Ooh, and a house key. Really convenient. Thank you. Uh, cilantro, just to add to our herb collection. Got one there. Meat cleaver. Guess it's another weapon. Right, it's starting to get late. Just go through the last of the ground floor flats, and then I think we're going to head back. Honestly, I was hoping for some more books. But I'm not sure we're going to find any now. Bottle of disinfectant is probably going to come in handy. Dialing foam? I, I guess. Apple juice? Sure. Baking tray, do we already have one? Can't remember, but I'm taking it anyway. Right, that's all the ground floor flats. It's already 9 o'clock. We need to get back, like, ASAP. Don't really want to be out much later than this. Especially since we didn't find that Master Z. Was that it there? Zombie, 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 master. No. No, that's master. Shame. I reckon it went into the woods then. Oh, God. Naughty. Bad. That was a bit terrifying. <laughs> oh, well, uh, another dollar? I don't know what we do with all this money, but I'm just going to take it anyway. 
So we've got these houses here, which might have something. But I mean, we're after if we're after a battery, I think we have to go a little bit more industrial. We can't get into the hardware store because we need a sledgehammer. So we're going to need to think of ways of finding a sledgehammer. We could go through some of the vehicles up there in the morning, make our way up that street. We also need to look out for like more storage lots and stuff because there might be batteries in there, that sort of thing. Uh, there might be some in cars like glove compartments and stuff, but we found a metal detector, which is like the hard part. We just need to find a battery. So hopefully we can find one of them soon. Uh, we could try and look in these houses. Maybe that's what I should do first, clear this general area. And then at least we're like slowly clearing it further and further back, making our base fairly safe. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Now, I will try and get rid of some of these corpses, but to us, I'm not overly worried. From what I've read, the chances of them reanimating are fairly slim. It's like one in every few hundred. So with all of these, chances are we might only get one or two that, re uh, that we do reanimate. So I, I think we're all right, but I will try and dispose of some of them if I can. Um, I did make a sheet rope going up to our flat, which is good. So we should be able to just shimmy up there now without having to go up the stairs. I'm going to dump all the stuff and in the morning we're going to press on back up that road again, see what we can find. Go further and further into the city, see if we can find any more variants, see if we can find any more books and supplies to keep us going. Right, it's really early in the morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clear the vegetation from this balcony, try and get our foraging up a little bit and find some other bits in the process because this seems like a fairly good way to forage and level up. So I'll see you guys in a sec once it's a bit brighter outside and we've cleared this balcony. Right, so we've cleared the balcony. We got a lot of different stuff. So we've got unknown berries, unknown mushrooms. We can't do anything with them. So I think I'm just going to leave them out there to rot. There we go. Anyway, it's five o'clock. It should be light enough outside. Let's head off. We've got a lot of ground to cover this episode. We've got a lot of stuff to try and get on with and do. Need to find some more hardware stuff, some more industrial stuff. There is some more stuff further south. So I know for certain that the plant that we went over where we saw the generators and we went over that little bridge that might have some industrial stuff but also slightly further south than that there is a warehouse that i know definitely does have stuff i think it's technically a factory more than a warehouse but that should have some bits in it so i think if we fail in this quest we'll go down there see if we can find anything but i was hoping to go back up here just in case we do find the master because i do want to examine it see what it actually does because i feel like i'm going insane when i saw that zombie turn into a listener zombie maybe i'm wrong if it does do that, then that's something that should definitely tell Nexus about because that's that's terrifying. But what we're going to do first of all, like I said, is we're going to go up to these houses. Right, so it looked like they were banging on a door here last time. Okay, well this is cool. Little bar, there's some drinks and a beer. We've got that and that can be used for a Molotov, so pretty chuffed about that. Poke a nose in. There's a fireplace there as well. This would be a nice little house. Baby food, carrot flavor, pepper, ooh, a red electric base, might have to take that back with me later, baseball bat, ooh, weapon, ooh, CD of Rosewood Prison, okay, cool, so I think we've now got everything we need to actually listen to uh, stuff on the CD player, which is nice, okay, well, that's one house cleared, you can definitely hear some around here, though, okay, we've got a small horde, looks like all zombies and a tough, we should be fine. No, nothing really of much use on any of them. Okay, push up into the next house. Apple juice and hot sauce. Perfect combination. There's one. Great razor. Paint has gone up. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, poor caramel apple plushie. Um, you're carrying with me anyway. I'm going to leave the tissue. Another baseball bat, though. Oh, it's pretty low condition. But it's better to have something. I guess we can always fix up with nails. Frying pan. Get some cooking done. I think there's one there. Yeah, it's normal zombie. Dirty bandage. Waste not, what not. Move into this one. Two. For the house key. A vacuum cleaner. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff from that. That was a lot of stuff. Okay, worth dismantling vacuum cleaners. We can dismantle the red base. We've already found one, so we'll see what we get from it. Okay, not much. Okay, All right, push up the stairs. Ugh. <laughs> Why would you keep a dirty diaper in there? That, that's gross. I'm not gonna... No, I'm not cleaning a dirty diaper. You can keep your dirty diaper. Jesus. Uh, do we have a rolling pin? 
don't know if we do but we found a bread tin so we could make bread there must be a zombie in this one surely there we go <laughs> razor yeah remove that Ooh, shop vac mantle what do we get from a shop vac loads of stuff again okay that's that's building number two done okay and we've got a whole other section after this one to do empty sulfuric acid cardboard box empty glass bottle bag of trash chucked on the floor what do we do with small bag of trash search junk we need a junkyard okay we need to figure out how we get a junkyard you know another hammer loot is so rare you can't really pass stuff like that up vacuum cleaner again and vacuum cleaner so many different vacuum cleaners although this we only get plastic and broken electrical parts yeah, so far, main loot just seems to be vacuum cleaners in these places. Ooh, Freddy's big balloon. His zombie's really close. Oh, God, he's there. A beta block is in a house key. Anything in... Ooh, book. Remove cover. Medical. Oh, we've already got that one. Oh, screw you. He's already got tweezers. Uh, we might be able to use them for other stuff. Ooh, more hot sauce. Hand soap? What can we use hand soap for? Cleaning. Okay, I'll take it. All right, mushroom soup. That's like the first decent food we've actually found. An umbrella could be incredibly useful. Jesus. That one, of course. The only one we can't push over. Long sleeve compression? We don't have that. Can we do anything with pillows? We can recycle pillows. Suffer Jesus. No, thank you. Uh recycle them? What do we get from recycling them? We get a pillowcase, which we can use to make bindle or handbags and stuff. We also get loads of feathers, which we can use to make lures, quills, and arrows. Okay, so yeah, worth doing. Oh my god. A mass amount of cranberry juice. Right, we are getting tired. This is wrestler. Close. Foxy again. Okay, this might have been a mistake. What do you have on you? House key, I'll take it. Pay end camera, I'll take it. Run. Okay, pack of chewing gum. I think we'll have to come back. We've got a lot of loot, and honestly, I don't want to risk it when we're getting tired. Just go back to base, drop off what we've got. Oh my god, there's another small horde up there. Oh, and we've got some coming our way. Okay. Jeez. Butterfly knife? MRE. Do you have anything? Cockroach. I think we should take these ones out. I know it's a bit risky seeing as we're getting tired, but I'd rather take out as much as possible so they don't drift. And we are, like, fairly safe in the knowledge that we are safe. And seeds. Okay, make our way back to base. Dump the stuff, go to sleep. We'll finish looting that other house, then we'll move up a little bit further. Right, and we'll place our little third pony camera apple down there. There we go. Three ponies liberated from your disgusting, disgusting fate. Anyway, go up our canteen, go to sleep, and we will press on in the morning. Right, it's the morning, it's raining. Uh, luckily, it's not very far to where we're going, so we should be fine. Shouldn't hopefully get too wet before we get inside. I don't really want to catch a cold at this point. Anyway, might as well do some foraging on the way. But actually, if we found something, we'd level up to level three. We might as well try. There we go. Still sounds like there's a few in here. Ooh, pickle and Russian dressing. Another CD. Oh, instantly sad. <sighs> Child, these are a pain. Make you constantly depressed. Recycle that. Ooh, oh, rotten nacho cheese. Sad. MRE, though. Hang on, what? A toaster. Can we do anything with it? Just dismantle. Okay, might as well dismantle. And a razor that we can get the blade from. Right, onto the last building, then. And this is going to be fairly nearby where we saw the Master Z. The Master Z was just on the road behind here. So we're going to want to be careful. Ooh, hello. It's a shame we haven't found more books. I was hoping for more books in this, but 
The only books we found really are on zombies themselves. Drawing pattern sweater? Take it. Upstairs we go, I guess. There you are. Just towel. Might help if we do get wet and dry ourselves off. Always bring a towel. Not quite a proper towel, but it will do. Um, we can get cotton balls from that one. Get cotton balls this time around. Really? 60. It's going to weigh way more than the pillow ever did. Double the weight of the pillow from all the cotton balls. I know it's, it's not actually in terms of weight weight. It's like space and how heavy it is. But still, <laughs> that's a bit ridiculous. Vacuum cleaner. All that lovely scrap. Small bag of trash. Make small junkyard. Oh, we just need a shovel. Do we have a shovel? I don't think so. Okay, we're going to want to be on lookout for a shovel then, because then we could make some stuff with that, I guess. Oh, well, that's that building done. Let's go back to the road then. Venture up a bit further. Oh, Jesus. Right, we've got a skeleton. Maybe we just go down here. Oh, God, one behind us. More pliers. Nothing else really down here. Take out these two, though. Right, we're going to the driving school, dry off a little bit. See if there's any books or anything we can use. Literally nothing in here. Where's the dish towel? Dry self? Don't want to get sodding now. I do want to check out the boots of these cars and the glove compartments because there might be some bits in them. Okay, let's check out these cars first then. Then we'll move up. See what else we can find. Okay, we found a key to this one. Yeah, obviously, it's not going to work. <laughs> but still, it doesn't even have a wheel. Twine. Twine's not bad. I'll take twine. Nothing in there. Twine again. We can get into here. Exciting. Got some antidepressants in the caravan. Right, this has been a worthwhile trip, hasn't it? We've had absolutely nothing so far. Okay, uh, there's some trailer there. A lot more zombies up there. Price is a sprinter. Check out the trailer. Nothing there. The okay, sprinter's going up there. Fine. Uh, we need to get inside before we get soaking. Let's go to the upstairs ones here. There should be quite a few flats to check out here. After that, I'm not sure if it's worth pushing any further up this way. At least for now until we're more equipped um it'll be better to go somewhere else so we can find anything else another side okay chips and if some of you in the uk or the us for that matter are wondering why i say chips instead of crisps because i should be saying crisp it's just because it's literally on the screen <laughs> if i see a word and i'm reading it it's a struggle to translate in my head while i'm playing oh hello dog biscuit now what do we do with the dog biscuit feed dog okay we need, we need a dog how do we get dog <gasps> cooking pot Thank you. That's what I've been wanting for a while now. Uh, some nice pasta. 3,000 calories. That'll keep us going for a while. Some beer. Okay, we've got dinner sorted. And we've got the cooking pot so we can actually cook it now. El, why are, you, why are you a tad sad? Like, you shouldn't be. You found pasta and beer. Every survivor's dream. I think we can use crayons. Oh, we can use it for a lot of stuff. Okay, we're taking the crayons. Pack of chewing gum and garbage bag. Don't mind if I do. Oh, another empty cooking pot. Oh, they're spoiling me now. Pink hair color. Barely any of it. Next floor up then. I think some of these buildings, especially the more high-rise ones, might have some industrial, like, crates and stuff on the top floor. Like, little maintenance bits. So that might be worth looking out for. There's one. Two. We've got Copsy. Are you just like a normal zombie? I think they are. I think a Copsy is basically just a normal zombie, but was a cop, I guess. More herbs for our non-existent meals that we're cooking. Electricity volume two. Actually need that. That's amazing. Thanks, five. Definitely don't need that right now. Should we take it? We should take it anyway. When are we going to find it again? Vacuum cleaner. Marshmallow cereal. Melted ice cream. Hello. Apparently this building's where it's at, where uh, all the food is concerned. Apparently all we need to do is come here. Right, root beer. Yeah, Elle's going to be fine. She's got so much stuff now. Surviving is not an issue anymore. We have root beer and uh, some pink hair dye. We're good. Cooking oil. What do we need cooking oil for? For baking potatoes... Making all sorts of stuff. Creamy mash. Uh, there's only a tiny amount in there. I'm not sure it's worth the weight. Take it. Oh, cheese grater. That actually sounds like it might be useful for cooking. How many more floors do we have to go up? Is this the last one? Yes, yeah, the last one. Okay, there are some boxes here. <gasps> oh, that's amazing find. And what's this? Build battery. Build solar park. We can build a solar. Okay, that's cool. What with the machines? Build a battery. Array. Build a self-made solar panel. Read that. Build solar park. We need electrical seven, but 
That'd be very, very cool if we can make a solar park. I think what we should do is we should find somewhere to go to sleep. Or should we head back? Let's try and head back. It's uh, it's already fairly late. I'd rather be safe in our own bed at this point, to be honest. I haven't been very successful finding these batteries, but we found quite a few other good bits. Oh, here we go. Got a zombie and we've got a listener. You're not the master. Where's this master then? The master just seemed to disappear. Okay, well, these ferals seem to keep appearing, which is a massive concern. I don't know whether just the master one's hanging around there somewhere. And we're just unable to find it. Uh, more maggots? Maggots on the floor? Is this a feature of the update? Do maggots just form on zombies or on the floor near them? Because now I found quite a few maggots just randomly underneath zombies on the floor. Yeah again so is that just like a common occurrence now that we can find maggots and then in that sense can we eat maggots that's the hydrocraft ones but i've got a feeling yeah look there's other maggots like these ones non-perishable it doesn't say fresh slash cooked so maybe you can't cook them no idea that's it go upstairs go to sleep i still haven't found master z or any new variants this episode really the elusive master z has disappeared once again but it's been a good episode for getting supplies and things, especially this electricity volume two. That should get us level four fairly easily, uh, which is one of the harder ones to level up. So I'm pretty pleased we got that. Let's go to sleep now. And I think we're going to push further south. We'll go to the main street, I think, just near where the hardware store is. I don't think we can get in there anyway, like I said, because of the metal bars in it. It's unbreakable. I think we have to have a sledgehammer or some way of getting to the second floor. Anyway, let's go to sleep in the morning. We will see about pressing further into town. Okay, right, it's the morning. Time to set off. Okay, right. So these houses are not too bad. They might be all right for looting books and things. They've also got quite a lot of propane nearby, which might be good. However, they tend to have a lot of zombies. Not sure if it's worth the risk of getting in there just yet. We'll have to see. We might have to take them out bit by bit, slowly, slowly. We need to get to... Oh, look at them all. Has that one got a katana in it? I look like a skeleton, possibly a feral. Skeleton feral, yep. Okay, take out those first. I don't want that coming up back up on me. Oh, lucky it didn't see me. So, we've got this little insurance place here. We've got this little place here. A handful of zombies. Doesn't look like there's any that should be too worrying. That one definitely has a katana in it. I'm amazed that we found another katana. It's not the most amazing condition, but the fact that we found one alone is good. I could do with the belt, actually. I think belts are fairly useful. But this is the hardware place. A lot of zombies down there, though. Go into this insurance place. Fax machine? Seriously? Okay. Party hat with stars. Someone had a party. Didn't invite me. <laughs> law services there might be something there might be some books check out this one first this is the building with loads of computers in so this might be a good place to loot we want to get our electrical up oh look at that yeah there's a few bits in here here we go <gasps> welder's mask oh my god right off the bat a large battery and what was that shovel that's what we needed oh my god this is amazing we can make a little junkyard now incredible that was only part of the building we could technically get into this side as well Okay, looks like there's a few bits in here. Right, here we go. A pick, seriously, a pickaxe. What can we do with a pickaxe? We can mine, but we need the geology textbook. We can make a mine. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty cool. Oh, I love Hydrocraft so much. You can do so much stuff and it's so bizarre. In normal Project Zombie, you wouldn't think you could just go mining. Just something that wouldn't even occur to you. But Hydrocraft, no, completely different. Um, right, we need to get in here. We've broken glass from here. Deconstruct the desktop computer. Oh god, one there. Christ. House key though. Take it. But nothing from that computer. Go away. 
Press the Z. This might have been a mistake. Press the Z. Printer might be good for our electrical. Soldering gun with dead battery. Okay, we've got a book. Computer monitor. Disassemble the office computer. We're not getting any useful materials out of these desktop computers, which is a little bit worrying. Okay, we just got scrap electronics. I thought we might actually get computer parts, but apparently not. Super glue. Okay, just quickly look to see if we can find anything in any of these desks. I don't think we're going to be able to, but still, no, nothing. Jesus. Small bag of trash uh, on the floor. Go away. Oh, God. It's off. Go, go, go. No. Jesus. Don't think I'm equipped for this. Quickly get upstairs. One there. Ooh, okay. Uh, power cord, packing tape, fax machine. Can we do anything with that apart from dismantle? No, just dismantle it. Arcastics. I think I need that right now. Messenger bag. I'm gonna take that. There's also another book. Can we dismantle the desktop computer? We seem to only ever get scrap from the computer. I don't know whether that's intentional. Oh no, we got an IR encoder. Okay, maybe it is worth deconstructing them then. God, we got a hot. I think we. I heard the ripping sound, which made me think that we've got a hole ripped out of us but we seem to be okay god that was terrifying okay another large battery printer box cutter are you later i will take another book though that's uh remove the covers from all the books basketry tin working and plumbing well we already had plumbing but fine okay Got another book first aid beginners not too bad i'll take it a computer mouse we needed that nice okay, we've got another book fairy tale book. <laughs> why would i want a fairy tale book uh, a ruler was that remove paper screen well, whatever we're taking it it looks like we've got one more room <laughs> measuring tape two more desks it doesn't look like it's gonna have the stuff i need like the computer tower no okay deconstruct these two remaining computers no nothing and we're getting bored and we're unhappy i think we need to eat this chocolate just need to get out of here okay well not exactly the uh stuff i had in mind but We've got the start of the electronics one, and we also got a shovel, which means that we can start a trash tip, which is something. Right, what do you have? Do you have anything in there? No. Jesus. Run. Run your ass off. Run, 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 run. Get back to here. Turn around. Yeah, we've got a sprinter. Ready. Nice. Right, I think we're all right. Okay, before we end the episode, let's try and get into this law firm place. See if there are any other books or anything. Survival axe. Move broken glass. Move broken glass, please. Quickly as possible. Anything? No. Okay, in. No. Okay. Bit pointless coming in. We could take bottle from the dispenser, I guess. You're going to be heavy, aren't you? But at least that's a decent amount of water we could take. Equip secondary. Equip primary. Not the best form of uh, the weapon, but it'll do. Let's head back now. We are encumbered. We're getting tired. We're a bit bored. We've got a decent amount of stuff. We've got a load of water. That'll keep us going for a little while. We've got the makings of a electronics workbench. We've got two large batteries. Not the medium ones I was after, but it's a start. I really wanted to study the master zombie in a bit more detail. Doesn't look like that's really a possibility. We found another one. Just in the completely the wrong circumstance that we couldn't study it. And I wasn't going to risk my life to study it when there weren't really any other zombies in the vicinity anyway. I'm pretty sure from the fact that that master zombie went up there and there wasn't any ferals around there beforehand and suddenly there were a load of ferals, that might mean that it does actually convert them into different variants. That's my theory because it definitely looked like a normal zombie turned into a listener within like a second of crossing its path. So I'm going to put it down to that's what it does. La la la, la la la. Right, so chuck our stuff away. We'll do our report. End the episode there. Right, before the end of the episode, let's try and take this couch. I want to try and replace the bit that we've got upstairs with a nicer sofa. I think that would be good. Oh, damn it. Okay, this one. Okay, <laughs> between breaking both of them, we've got a decent one. What I'm going to do is replace these ones, I think, with uh, the orange ones that we've got at the bottom floor. Place that down here. I'll call it a day. Audio log 5, just gone 2300 hours. 
date, the 20th of the 7th, 03, decided to try and expand the safe perimeter today. I cleared multiple flats near to the base and also explored some of the nearby street northwest of the base. I thought I had seen another zombie like the one outside the old survivor base up there, but after searching, I found no trace of it. Is this variant simply my mind playing tricks on me? I also attempted to explore the street east of the base. I managed to enter an old office building to loot it, but got too close to a wrestler zombie. I was lucky to get away without injury. I desperately need a sledgehammer or something similar to get into the pharmacy and hardware store. If I can just locate one, I should have all the resources I need to set up that rudimentary outpost here. My readings into Joseph Caldwell's notes have not provided much yet. One particular journal told of some of the other survivors' fates. It seemed one was mauled to death on a loot run in front of Joseph. One was attacked and fled, not to be seen again. And another was bitten and taken away from base to be left to die. Joseph, at this point, in his journal, seemed extremely frustrated at not being able to find the resources he needed to start making a cure. Instead, he seemed fixated on improving his skills, dissecting zombies to learn the secrets to the disease, and making makeshift machines to help him study the pathogen further. I will make a list of these machines and resources he was looking for and send them across to you tomorrow. Right now I'm exhausted and need to prepare for trying to find a sledgehammer and more supplies in the morning. Please tell my husband and daughter that I love them dearly. L. Sullivan, signing off. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what we're saying, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Pet, Clint, David, Aaron, Mikhail, Rai, Kylara, Len, Andrew, Alex, MBXX, Lord T Chaos, Natural Cheese, Mikey, Soundcloud, King of Thorns, Plasco, Cordova, Manlock, Carl, and Maylene. Thank you guys. You guys are just incredible. Thank you so much for supporting me. You guys are just amazing. Thank you so much. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.